Hey designers, in this video, I'll be showing you a beginner-friendly tutorial on how to create motion graphics easily and quickly in After Effects. Start by creating a new composition. I'm using a 1920 by 1080 resolution for this project. Now let's import the background. These are the assets I'll be using in this tutorial, and I'll provide a download link in the description so you can practice along. Drag and drop the background layer onto the timeline. The image is quite large, so press S for scale and adjust it down slightly. Now we'll add a subtle moving animation to the background. Begin by pressing P for position and clicking the stopwatch next to position to create a keyframe. Adjust the background's position to your desired starting point. Move the playhead forward by 10 frames. You can use the shortcut Ctrl plus Shift plus right arrow to jump 10 frames. Once there, adjust the position of the background again. Repeat this process by moving the playhead forward another 10 frames and changing the position each time. When you've created a few keyframes like this, move the playhead forward another 10 frames. Copy the first keyframe by selecting it and pressing Ctrl plus C, then paste it at this point using Ctrl plus V. You'll notice the animation feels a bit linear, but we can fix that. Select all the keyframes, right-click, and choose Toggle Hold Keyframe. This will make the background move in a more stepped, frame-by-frame -frame style. To extend this motion across the entire timeline, press Alt and click the stopwatch next to position. In the expression box that appears, type loop out parenthesis, and inside it add quotation marks and write cycle. This expression will make the motion loop continuously. If the animation feels too fast, you can slow it down. Select all the keyframes, hold Alt on your keyboard, and drag them outward to spread them further apart. Now that the background is ready, let's move on to the next part of the tutorial. Let's take the text tool and write the text onto the composition. After typing, adjust the paragraph spacing to ensure the text looks balanced. Next, align the text vertically and horizontally within the composition for a clean and centered layout. Highlight all the text and adjust the font and size to your preference. Go to Effects and Presets and search for Drop Shadow. Apply the Drop Shadow effect to the text layer. Increase the softness of the shadow to give it a subtle, polished look. To add animation, in the Effects and Presets panel, search for Center Spiral. Once you find it, apply it to the text layer. This is the center spiral animation, but let's customize it to suit our design better. Press U to reveal the keyframes for the animation. Select all the keyframes and, while holding Alt, move them closer together to speed up the animation. To synchronize the opacity change with the rotation, select the second opacity keyframe and move it slightly to the right. After previewing, it looks better now. Place the playhead at the 2 second mark. Then trim the text layer by pressing Alt and the right square bracket key. This will crop the layer at this point. Next, let's create a new composition. For this composition, increase the width to create extra horizontal space. You'll understand the purpose of this shortly, so trust the process for now. Now import the assets. Select all the images and drag them onto the timeline. Arrange them by selecting the first image and moving it to the far left. Then move the last image to the far right. With all the images selected, use the Distribute Horizontally option in the Align panel to space them evenly. Align them vertically as well for a polished layout. Once positioned, adjust the composition settings again. Go to Composition, select Composition Settings, and change the width back to 1920 while keeping the height at 1080.
create a new null object by going to layer and selecting new null object. Parent all the image layers to this null object by selecting them, then pick whipping them to the null layer. This setup will allow us to animate all the images together effortlessly. Select the null object and press S for scale. Scale it down slightly to make the images fit better within the composition. Next, press P for position and adjust the position so that the first image appears on the screen. You can also move the position upwards a bit to create a more balanced layout. To animate the position, click the stopwatch next to position to set a keyframe. Move the playhead forward to around the 2 second mark. Change the X position so the last image moves into view. Once the keyframes are set, select both, press F9 to apply easy ease, and then open the graph editor. Adjust the graph for a smooth, natural animation, as shown in the tutorial. Return to the first composition and drag composition 2 onto the timeline. Place it at the point where the text animation ends for a seamless transition. Preview it to ensure it aligns correctly. Now, let's apply the Bezier Warp effect to Composition 2. Go to the Effects and Presets panel, search for Bezier Warp, and apply it to the layer. Adjust the edges to create smooth, curved corners, giving the composition a stylish appearance. Move the layer slightly downwards if needed to position it perfectly. Preview the animation to check how it looks. Next, apply a drop shadow to composition 2. Search for drop shadow in effects and presets. Apply it, and increase the softness to add a subtle shadow effect. Take the text tool again and add another line of text. Adjust the paragraph spacing and highlight all the text to align it vertically and horizontally within the composition. Decrease the text size and adjust the vertical spacing between the lines for a clean look. Reposition the text as needed and ensure it aligns well with the overall design. Offset the text layer slightly so it appears along with the images. Go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for an effect called Opacity Flicker In. Once you find it, apply it to the text layer. Press U to reveal the keyframes created by the effect. Since we only need the Opacity Flicker and not the Start or End animation, select both the Start and End keyframes and delete them. Now, focus on the opacity keyframes. Preview the animation again, and it should look perfect now. At this point in the timeline, we want both Composition 2 and the text layer to disappear. Select both layers, then trim them by pressing Alt and the right square bracket key to cut them at the current playhead position. For the final screen, grab the text tool and write your last line of text. Increase the size as needed and align it both vertically and horizontally within the composition. Make any adjustments to the text, such as font, size, or spacing, until it fits your design vision. Next, apply an animation effect to the text. Search for typewriter in the effects and presets panel and drag it onto the text layer. Press U to reveal its keyframes. To speed up the animation, move the second keyframe closer to the first one. To give the final text a polished look, apply a drop shadow effect. 
preview the entire animation to ensure everything transitions smoothly from start to finish. And with that, your project is complete. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed it, please like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to Ace Designs for more tutorials.